The overall aim of this project is to provide growers with new knowledge and new tools so that they can increase profitability, mainly through increasing the consistency in the supply of high quality fruit. There is still a gap in our knowledge and understanding of the impact of light in terms of floral initiation, uh, in terms of colour development, but also the detrimental effects of light on sunburn damage in, in apples. Um, so this project will try to improve the relationships of those parameters. Um, there is also a lack of knowledge in terms of understanding the chemical signals that are responsible for either switching on or off floral initiation in the developing bud in, in apples. And there is some hist historical work where we've looked at the genetics of floral initiation. Now we're at a stage of trying to clearly identify what those chemical signals might be that can actually improve floral initiation. Uh, there's also a whole host of new sensor technology that's coming along very rapidly. So this project is really going to harness some of that sensor technology to try to improve our ability to be able to measure in situ fruit size and fruit colour and tree size. Well we're standing here in the middle of the sundial orchard. Uh, that's where the majority of the work is going to be undertaken with respect to the effect of light on things like colour development and floral initiation and, that, and its detrimental effect um, through causing sunburn damage. Uh, we've got in the orchard here we've got rows with different orientations so what that'll provide is um, over the daytime but also during the season we'll get differences in how light is going into a canopy and hitting fruit at different times. So we can develop those relationship between colour development, light, um, sunburn damage and also of course floral initiation. We'll also be doing a bit of the work in a commercial orchard where we've set up some crop load treatments. There we'll be actually looking at the effect of those crop load treatments on floral initiation. Uh, we're partnering with Green Atlas um, and we're also doing some work with Swarm Farm Robotics to look at their se sensor platforms, how do we can actually improve them and how we can measure, for example, through a process of calibration and validation and even evaluation in, in a commercial orchard, how we can improve those sensors' ability to, to measure things like fruit size and fruit colour, fruit number in an orchard um, and tree size. So we can develop those relationships better and we can make them even orchard specific. This project is part of a suite of projects um, that come under the PIP3 program of work. Uh, we're working quite closely with the other projects um, being either on pears or looking at understory management or looking at pest and disease management. Um, one way we're doing that is through utilising uh, resources. For example here at the Tatura Smart Farm um, we'll be you know, sharing some of the orchard facilities but also some of the um, uh, uh, facilities we've got for looking at measuring um, quality parameters in fruit both uh, after harvest but also in situ as well.